A distraught man shoots and kills his five young children and his wife before taking his own life. And just before the suicide, the man called Eyewitness News and faxed us a letter and explained what he said drove him to this horrific crime. Good evening, I'm Mark Brown. I'm Michelle Tuzzi. Seven people dead, including five young children. A quiet neighborhood left in shock and police searching for answers. We begin our live team coverage with Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda in Wilmington with the latest on the murders and what was inside the letter the man faxed to the Eyewitness Newsroom. Carlos? Well, Michelle, this is definitely a tragic scene here that even veteran police officers say they've never seen anything like it. The man is identified as Irvin Lupo, and he was distraught after he and his wife were apparently fired from work. This morning, he left behind a note which he faxed to ABC7 explaining why he did this. One by one, the bodies were brought out late this afternoon. An entire family gone, five children and their parents. A tearful Janice Hahn spoke about how this has stunned everyone. Unbelievable sorrow of hearing of five children uh, who were murdered right here in this beautiful neighborhood of Wilmington. And as the mayor said, um, no matter how desperate you are, no matter how frustrated you are, uh, to think that this was the only answer uh, to take uh, your whole family with you in death uh, is just too much to understand. Police believe Irvin Lupo shot his family. They haven't been identified, but they are believed to be his wife, Anna Lupo, eight-year-old Brittany Lupo, Jasmine and Giselle Lupo, five-year-old twins, and Benjamin and Christian Lupo, two-year-old twins. He was calm as he explained what he had done and wanted to fax a letter. We called police and told them what was happening. The man called police as well. It was a call to communications at the same time the watch commander at Harbor received a call from uh, KABC Channel 7. So it was almost simultaneously we got those two calls, and within minutes, a unit was in front of the location and went inside. Uh, but unfortunately, it was too late. In his fax letter, the man sounds distressed. He says both he and his wife were fired from Kaiser Permanente, and he explains his side of the story. So after a horrendous ordeal, my wife felt it better to end our lives, and why leave our children in someone else's hands? At the end, he leaves a handwritten message. Oh, Lord, my God, is there no hope for a widow's son? We have learned this is an oath by the Freemasons, a grand Masonic hailing sign of distress. Any Mason hearing these words is obligated by oath to help. An official stress that this is a tragedy that should not have occurred. There is help out there for anyone who needs it. And they were here earlier this afternoon giving out some phone numbers people can use. This you see right there is a suicide hotline. It is 877-727-4727. You can also get more information on our website at abc7.com. There you can also see the full text of this letter, except for certain names that were taken out to protect their privacy. Reporting live from Wil Wilmington this afternoon, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC7. Eyewitness News. Carlos, thank you.